Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to do an updated how I style my new hair. And I'm going to be doing that today featuring the Dyson Corral straightener and also with the Dyson blow dryer. This video is in collaboration with Dyson, which I am so excited to be working with. Excited to be bringing you new hairstyles featuring incredible hair tools. As you guys know, as a hairdresser, I take tools very seriously and only bring you the very best. But not only that, I also like to bring you what's new and amazing and innovative in the hair industry. And Dyson has absolutely been killing it with their amazing, incredible hair tools. And that's what I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys today. So I'm gonna be showing you how I style my hair after I've let it air dry to about 80 to 90%, basically going from damp hair to this amazing smooth result. Now along with that, because I have such faith in the strength and power of this tool, I not only want to show you on my hair type and texture, I also want to share the results on a hair type that can be a little bit more challenging to really show the diversity of this tool and the strength and ability that it holds. So if you want to see how I got my hair super smooth and sleek and how I got my friend's hair here super shiny and smooth in one swipe, keep on watching and let's get started. So as you can see, I'm starting off with air dried hair. I always feel the best way to style hair is to let it air dry a good 80 to 90%, which is where I'm at now. It's definitely still a little bit damp. As you can see, I've got some frizz going on. So I'm going to start off first with a blowout. I think the basis to a good hairstyle is always to do a blowout first. That's how you get volume at the roots and to get a smooth enough base to go into your desired style, whether it's to curl, to straighten, um, straight with kind of more beveled ends. So the way I like to do a blowout is first to just rough dry the hair, get out all the moisture, then go in with a round brush and add some volume to the roots. I'm gonna be using the Dyson blow dryer. I love how absolutely powerful it is, but also how sleek and minimalist it is. Also, the buttons stay out of the way, which is a big pet peeve of mine, not only as a hairdresser, but as a, you know, avid blow dryer myself. It is nice to be able to hold the blow dryer without pressing the on and off button. So it's easily accessible, but not in the way. just finish the first step just in order to get some volume at the roots and kind of smooth the hair throughout and now I will move on to using the star of the show the Dyson Corral straightener so first of all can we take a moment to focus on this gorgeous design I wish you guys could feel how this tool feels in your hands literally as soon as I took it out of the packaging and I held it and I was like this is like the most professional straightener I've ever laid my hands on. It just feels like it's well built and you can see that with every detail. It's obviously rounded on the edges so that if you do want to curl or bevel ends, um, you do have that option. Also, the plates are incredibly smart and different than anything I've ever used. So first of all, they have like smart heat technology, which means the way the power is moving through the plate is so quick that you get even heat with every stroke of this on your hair. A lot of other plates, that technology isn't fast enough. So what ends up happening is it shoots out heat and then it kind of stops and shoots out heat and then it stops. That's why with some tools, you'll have to go over more than once to get that super smooth, sleek style. However, with the Dyson Corral, you're going to get 
even consistent results no matter what time you're gliding the tool through the hair. One of the coolest things about this tool is that it has flexible plate technology. Now what that means is that the plates are actually flexible. So when you grab a section of hair, um, sometimes it might be thicker on this side than this one. The plates will adjust to that so that once again the hair gets even heat. So if the plates are not flexible and you grab a chunky section of hair and say there's more hair on this side, it's going to press more on that side and that side, say if this side is thinner, the plates are barely even going to touch it. Which again, if you're going through the hair, you're gonna have very uneven results. So by having flexible plates on a straightener, you just completely avoid that issue. Another good thing about that is it's going to save you time when you're doing your hair because once again, you're not gonna to have to go over that section over and over in order to get those smooth, sleek results. And another benefit in addition to that is that you're not going to kill your hair because by going over the same section multiple times, you're essentially straightening and over straightening pieces of hair that are already straight just in order to get maybe the piece next to it that wasn't. So the importance of even heat and the flexible plates is super crucial in getting amazing results but without compromising the integrity of the hair. Also one of my favorite things about this tool is that it is wireless. Both as a hairdresser and someone who travels with heat tools, I cannot explain how incredible this is. So it comes with a dock and with each charge you get about 30 minutes worth of use which you'll notice is more than enough time for any hairstyle. And the charger for the tool also doubles as a stand for the tool, which again, as a hairdresser, having that easily accessible is incredibly important. Also having something to securely and safely stow a hot tool while it's cooling is an absolutely genius idea. Also the charging dock just plugs in magnetically, which also means that it swivels. So making the storage and use of the charging dock super easy. Now you can definitely use thicker sections of hair to straighten, but what you do want to avoid is getting the hair all the way into the corners. You want to keep it more centralized to fully maximize the plate technology. So given that it is cordless, um, I love that it comes with this lock button. So that means that if you have this stored away in a bag, it's not going to in any way just turn on once it's locked. So in order to start using it, we unlock, click the on button, and the screen will appear, and then there's just a plus and a minus button so that you can easily put it on the setting that is right for your hair. As a hairdresser, I constantly get asked what is the right heat setting for your hair. A good rule of thumb is to go by your hair's texture, not necessarily density. So people that have a lot of hair but finer hair, I would definitely recommend the lower setting because the finer the hair is, the quicker it's going to react to heat. So if you have a lot of hair, it just means you're going to do more sections. Now, if you have a thicker, coarser hair, meaning the diameter of each hair strand is actually bigger and wider, then you want to use a slightly higher heat setting. If you're still unsure, a good way is always to start on the medium setting and see how that goes. If you feel that you need more heat, you can easily bump it up. There's 330 degrees, 365, and 410. That's what it's set at right now. I'm going to go down to 365 for my hair type. So I'm going to grab my first section. It also just glides super effortlessly through the hair, which is obviously not only pleasant for your heat styling session, but it also ensures that each hair is getting even heat. One little trick when smoothing out your hair is to do this area here close to the nape. It's often an area that can be kind of overlooked, but you definitely don't wanna have super smooth, sleek hair and then super frizzy underneath. So definitely don't forget to do that section. So as you can see with just a few swipes, how much smoother and shinier the side is in comparison to this side. So as you guys know, I do have extensions put in and 
It's very normal for your hair texture to be a little bit different than the extensions. So as you can see, I tend to get a lot of frizz into this mid section here. And so by smoothing out that area just gives a much more fluid look to the hair and also makes the extensions blend a lot nicer. So as you're doing it, sometimes it's almost hard to see the difference, but I think we can see side by side how effective just a few strokes of that was. So I've shown you how I smooth out my own hair. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I want to show this tool in action in more than one hair type. So with the help of my textured doll head here, I'm going to show you just how effective the corral straightener can be on different hair types. So just a little fun fact about me. The two of my best friends growing up actually had mixed textured hair. And when I learned to like blow out my own hair, and this was at a pretty young age of about 13 or 14, and when I felt I had mastered my own blowout, I really wanted to experiment on my friend's hair. And my friends that had grown up with more textured hair, which they would always complain about how hard it was to style or to add shine. And I remember finally one day, I convinced my best friend to let me straighten her hair. Um, and she couldn't get over how soft and smooth it was and granted it was years ago and granted the tools I was using um, were definitely not as good as they are now. But basically until I had actually played around with my friend's hair did I actually feel like such a professional that I could accomplish the same results on two completely different hair types. So this styling actually makes me super nostalgic and makes me miss my best friend so much, especially with quarantine. I wish she would have been my live model today. So I've done this one little section, but I want to show just a few sections on how far really just one swipe goes. And I just have to quickly say, I know that this is a heat styling video, but I have to say that I'm such a proponent to embracing textured hair. I think it's so beautiful. And obviously having good quality tools that lets you play up with your hair texture and lets you get different results is incredible. All right, so just up the heat to the next higher level. And as you can see, that was one swipe. All right, so aside from the super silly kind of 80s mix of texture going on, I just really wanted to show how quickly and effective the tool really is on any hair type. So that whatever hairstyle or texture you're going for that day, you have the options and the tools to, to get you there more effectively and more seamlessly. So if you too would like to try out the Dyson Corral, I've left information in the description box on how you can get your very own magical straightener. So also if you'd like to learn more about this and other Dyson tools, visit Dyson.com. Also you can go ahead and call this number here with a valid professional license. You can get a professional discount. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome hair day. See you in the next one. Bye.